Coronado here. We are live right now at the Answer the Call event on Sports Illustrated Swimsuits Basement. Emily, what's your involvement with this event? Um, I am involved with this event because I am the granddaughter, daughter, and sister of first responders. My dad and my grandfather were New York City firefighters. My brother is a New York City cop. How many events such as this have you been to? This is my second event as honorary chair, which I feel really lucky and proud to be a part of. So it's my second event. What does an honorary chair do? <laughs> Be honorary, run around and do Facebook interviews. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think just be here and meeting everyone and run their New York City Marathon. I'm doing the New York City Marathon under Nancy Call also. Yeah, anything I can do to be involved. How's your marathon training going? Not so far. I haven't started yet. It's not until November, so I have plenty of time. Um, yeah, I have time. Is there anyone you're looking forward to meeting here tonight? Um, is there someone here I should meet? Some Saturday Night Live people. Shut up. Tom I'm Joe, excited Spook Davidson. I'm excited to see some Saturday Night Live people then, for sure. So this is the first time we've seen you since launch. What have you been up to the last few months? Man, launch, good time. Um, I have been traveling for work. I went to Argentina. I went to Asia. Um, I've been in New York working, going upstate because the weather's finally getting nice in New York. So I've been spending a good amount of time upstate with my family and friends. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. Are there any trips you plan to take this summer? Uh, yeah, I am going, well, I'm going to Asia for work in June, and then I'm going to Chile to see in August. Wow. Yeah. Are there any concerts in your plans for the summer? No concerts. No, I wouldn't mind seeing Beyonce, though. What's your favorite part about the summer? My favorite part about the summer is everyone's in a good mood, everyone's outside, the energy is amazing in New York, and I also love going upstate and just being able to be outside, being by a pool, and enjoy being outside. The winters in New York are brutal. Do you have a favorite style swimsuit? Favorite style swimsuit? Uh, honestly, I love a one piece, but I know sports all straight to me. But I love a one piece. For guys going to the beach, should they ever wear speedos? Um, I think guys should wear speedos if they can pull it off, and if they're confident enough to pull it off, sure. <laughs> Do you have a beach you like to go to in the summer, kind of your favorite place? Uh, yeah, I love going to the Hamptons. Montauk's like one of my favorite places to go in the summer, and then I also love like Turks and Caicos, where I can shop. What's your favorite snack? You can't leave home without if you're going for a day on the beach. <laughs> favorite snack? Um, I like Kind Bars, Trail Mix, an apple, it's not very exciting, but... <laughs> What's your SPF of choice? Um, like a 30, I try to do, but I always like let myself get a little bit of vitamin D first and then I put it on. So I get a bit. Do you have a summer beauty routine? Um, not really, no different than my winter routine. Well, I guess in the winter I moisturize a lot more in the summer, it's a little bit lighter. Um, a lot of scrubs, coconut oil, you know, like that. So if a guy is on a beach and he wants to talk to a girl, is there anything you can say to successfully pick her up? That is so hard. Um, and on the beach, actually on the beach is pretty easy. I feel like what's best is if a guy is just natural. He's like, hey, like, are you from around here? Like, what are you guys doing here? Are you on vacation? As long as you're not weird and say things yeah, yeah, like, do I know you from something like that? Do you get hit on on the beach or people like, oh, this is a model, I'm not even going to call it? Honestly, no, not really. I never really get hit on. I guess they, yeah, no. <laughs> um, have you been doing any good workouts lately? Yes, always doing good workouts. I'm actually getting certified in yoga in June. I'm doing a 200-hour teacher training, which is kind of intense. It's going to be full month of June. And then I'll be training for the marathon. And I'm always doing yoga and running and Pilates and spinning and everything under the sun. <laughs> Would you want to like teach yoga when you're done modeling? Maybe, yeah. I mean, it's always been something that I really liked even before I modeled, and it's just something I'm passionate about. And I figured, why not commit to something and challenge myself? So that's what I decided to do. Yeah. So if you had an hour and could only do one workout, what would it be? I'd probably run. It's just like the best way to like clear your mind, sweat, and feel good. Is this going to be your first marathon? This is my first marathon, yes. I've done a half and I've done triathlon, but I've never done a full marathon. Have you run more than 13 miles at one time? Yeah, definitely not. So I'm going to need to get out there and train. <laughs> so what motivated you to do it this year? Um, because Answer the Call um, had a program that you could do under, and I volunteered to do it then. My sister-in-law is doing it as well. It's married to my brother, who's a cop. So we're making it a family affair. So you 
said your dad was a firefighter and your brother is a police officer. Right. How does your mom feel? I mean, she's over there drinking a margarita. She's just fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I guess when I was younger, my dad was a firefighter. I was kind of young. He's retired now, and I didn't really think about it as something like, dangerous or scary. But now my brother's kind of out there, it's a little scarier for all of us as a cop in the city nowadays. But, I mean, it's cool. We're so proud, so it's awesome. Have you ever run into your brother, like, while you're on the street and he's on the street? Nah, only when he's crashing my apartment. <laughs> Switching gears, any movies you want to see this summer? Um, yeah. Oh, this is going to sound horrible. The Sausage One? Have you seen the preview for that? It's a cartoon. That sounds ridiculous. Watch the preview. Have you seen that? It's like The Sausage. It's about, it's, it's, I don't know, it's good, it's funny. Watch the preview. What's the best movie you've seen in the last year? Um, it's a hard one. So, for SI Swimsuit, if you're in the 2017 edition, is there anywhere you want to shoot that you've never shot yet that you've always kind of dreamed about? Uh, I would love to go to like St. Barnes or St. Kitts or St. Lucia or something, anywhere in the Caribbean. I really enjoyed being like in the Caribbean this year in Turks and Caicos. I was spoiled this year, so. Anywhere in SP advertisement is awesome, so. So, when you're shooting, like, what, what would you say is the most challenging thing that people might not see when they look at the photos? I guess I would probably say that um, how impactful some of the elements are, like the water and the wind and the sand, if anyone ever saw the backstage footage or behind the scenes of me in Namibia, like the first year I did Sports Illustrated, I was getting like pelted with sand and wind and the sun, and it's cold at the same time. The elements really kind of hit you, plus trying to look pretty, plus trying to pose, plus it's a lot of things going on at once. So it's kind of a lot of multi And uh, a couple more questions. Um, when you go to an event like this, is it more fun or is it more mingling and more kind of annoying? Uh, this one's a mix of work and play because I got to bring my family and invite friends. So that part's really cool because usually for a work event I'm just kind of like by myself and going through the motions. And then it's also partially work because I have to meet everyone and it's, but it's a good thing. It's not like work work. And if you're doing a Facebook Live for someone like Sports Illustrated and it ends and you go to the bar and you can get any drink, what is your drink of choice? A margarita, which I'm going to go do. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Emily. Thank you. <laughs>